While recent storms unleashed flooding across homes and highways, there was an invisible toll as well. Tens of millions of gallons of sewage and stormwater released into San Francisco Bay from aging treatment plants and stormwater systems that were overwhelmed by the deluge. Sejal Choksi Chu is the executive director of San Francisco Baykeeper, which tracks pollution threats. So that it can include pathogens, bacteria, viruses that can get into the water. And if someone comes into contact with that water, it can have a harmful effect on their health. They say the episode is an extreme example of a challenge that's been building for decades. Recent estimates place the cost of upgrading the dozens of wastewater systems that ring the bay in the billions of dollars. But groups like Baykeeper say the upgrades are critical to protecting the bay, calling for increased federal spending during President Biden's recent visit to assess the storm damage. You know, they're not equipped to handle this this much water, and that's why we're really pushing for upgrades at all levels. Experts say there are added pressures from climate-driven factors as well. Recent studies point to sea level rise, pushing heavier salt water underneath the bay shoreline, potentially raising the water table and further degrading underground pipes. Eileen White is executive officer of the San Francisco Bay Regional Water Quality Control Board. So what we saw on December 31st and in the first couple weeks in January, we can expect to become the new normal with climate change. White echoes the importance of state and federal funding, but says many of the major wastewater districts in the Bay Area are already spending on upgrades. But there's a lot of good work going on in the Bay Area. San Francisco, they entered an agreement with us where they're going to spend over $600 million between now and 2028 to make improvements to their combined, because they have a combined sanitary stormwater system, to address three areas that have historically had a lot of flooding in the city. Still, it's an ongoing process likely to take place over several decades, perhaps with an added urgency in the face of climate change.